If I had to name this chapter of my life right now, it would be called uncertainty. <sighs> the last few weeks have been very weird. According to my sister, because I think I, I've just been in very depressive states. Um, and according to my sister, it's because of Mercury in retrograde. Mer Mercury in retrograde. And maybe. But also, I know like there's just a lot of stuff going on in terms of work and <sighs> figuring out where my place is that is definitely affected like my state of being. Like, I am someone who is a planner and I'm someone who likes to control things. And so right now, I don't have a plan and I don't have control. Which is terrifying to me because I don't know I'm always so used to being like reactive go 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 and then like this survival mode trying to be strategic about things and make plans about things but it's like now I just realized that I just don't have all the information and I'm getting tired I'm getting very tired <laughs> I've been working since I was like 14 and I'm exhausted <laughs> right now and I think I need um to do a mindset shift but it's really hard for me right now um up until a few weeks ago I've been working towards product management you know I've so I've been enrolled in this course this human-centered design course that's been really fun I've been talking to mentors and working through creating projects and what that looks like and that's been fun i even shared with like my manager my interest in product management so i thought you know i was on the right track you know i thought i had a plan and then i just found out that instead of like potentially being placed in a role where i wouldn't be doing technical stuff or would it be more business focused which is what I just assumed I would be doing instead of coding now I'm finding out that my manager's uh, my manager's gunning for me to be in a technical role where I will be needing to learn to re needing to read code and understand what's happening and to be quite honest I haven't been coding at all I've not coded. I barely understood JavaScript when we went through the boot camp. Like I feel like I, I got through things by the skin of my teeth. I was creating things by the skin of my teeth and things were happening and I was always like on on like go. But then after that, I just, I took a break and then I stopped and I was like, product management sounds great and I'm not even coding anyway. So, and I, and I don't think I would be, if you can't tell, I'm not very good with change. And I think that despite the fact that my manager has sort of like shared this information with me, I still think it's possible to move into a product manager role. If anything, I feel like it'll be better to do it from a business, to do it from a technical side than probably a business side, even though it doesn't matter, honestly. Um, <laughs> but this could potentially give me the chance to get that experience that I didn't have for at least like five months which is more experience in code. I don't know, but I'm just very terrified. I'm very afraid. There's a lot of fear that I'm feeling right now. And I think it's because I don't want to fail and I don't want to, I, I don't think I'm good at, I just don't like being good. That's maybe that's it too. I don't like being not good at things. I don't like, not being in control of things and put in situations where I may not be good at it. Wow. I think I just blew the lid off that. 
I just had a conversation with a manager in the role who, who works closely in the role that like I would have. He had good things to say. It's just, you know, when like you're interviewing someone or not even interviewing, you're talking to someone and you're trying to like, it's just an immersive experience. And so you're checking for all the things that they're saying. You're seeing what they're saying, seeing what they're talking about. And it's like, yeah, I'm looking for the answer to your questions, but I'm also looking about the way that you're talking about it. If you're, if, if I'm talking to you and you're like, you're, some people, this is also their personality too. If you're like super bubbly about something and your responses are like, you're smiley and you're relaxed. I'm going to think, wow, this person is like probably in a good space. They're probably really happy with where they are. They're probably fulfilled um which is a huge assumption but you know <laughs> i'm working with what i got but also it's like on the other side if you're like super monotone and you're not like smiling about things or i just got the energy that like things weren't great <laughs> and that's terrifying because again i don't have a plan i don't have a plan like my mind is racing I'm trying to make a plan off of something I just have no knowledge of, no experience in. Um, and after talking with like family members, they were like, you just can't, you're not gonna know what it's like until you're in it. And then you can figure that out. Like it doesn't make any sense, Jamira. It doesn't make any sense to sit here and worry about things and fret over things that you really just don't have control over. But I, yeah, that's just my state of being. So what I can do is look over our conversation and see what are some steps that I can take now while I'm still in my internship that can help me in this potential role so that if I were to get offered, I can, I can feel a bit more prepared, <laughs> which would mean learning Java. I guess I would put the product management thing on hold. <sighs> Here's another fear. I've set on this thing, on this path to go to, into product management, which I hoped it would happen sooner rather than later, aka years down the line. However, I'm not really sure if once I get into this role that I want to still do product management. Maybe I'll want to go back into software engineering. Maybe I'll be like, this seems really cool. Maybe I can keep doing this until maybe I can learn to become a manager. So I guess I just need to like meditate on this space and I'm feeling and just really learn how to go with the flow because even though I say I'm just vibing oh my god what even though I'm saying I'm going with the flow I'm not I don't really think I know what that looks like or feels like because clearly trying to hold on to as much control as I can but you know what Maybe it's time to go with the flow and just see where life takes me. Oh, I don't really want to do that though. I don't know. Okay. I wanted to just provide a bit of a bit of realism into my vlogs and sort of especially the aspect of this experience of career transitioning into tech because it is not seamless it is not easy it is not straightforward part of that is due to like the system of things but also it's like part of that is me and being a human and all that that entails and how that fits into my journey i think that is that's just life so it's the next day and i am back home now after like a night out with new friends and after talking to a few people and some who are in tech 
um, and some reflection, I feel like where my greatest fear and where so much of my fear is stemming from is not wanting to go back to the mental space and emotional space that I was in in my prior role where I was just like so stressed out that it was hard um and I think that 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 also occurred like <laughs> during the pandemic and being inside the house so I feel like maybe the circumstances are different but well they are they would be <laughs> but I just have like a really big fear of ever getting to that space that I was in in that role so when I don't know anything or when I'm experiencing uncertainty it's very hard for me to just sort of let go because it's like well what if what if I'm back in that position again um that's like a really great fear of mine and I didn't really realize that until tonight <laughs> That, that is what I'm trying to like avoid I think a large part I think some part of that will be on me to ensure that it doesn't happen again looking at my boundaries and looking at not really pushing myself or just sort of like being being unafraid to just sort of be like you know this is not working and stepping away or just being, I don't, just reestablishing and reaffirming my boundaries in all aspects of like my professional life um, and really sort of practicing that. So I think I mentioned yesterday talking about how it's a mindset, sh a mindset shift. So I think I can look at this now that I'm aware of where that fear is really stemming from. I can look at it and say, okay, now that I know what this is like, this is an opportunity to to identify my boundaries, share them, and when I when I find that they are potentially being crossed, reaffirming what those are. Because I can't confidently say that I've have had that I can't confidently say that I've had that um, experience or successfully have done that I don't know I think that'll take a lot more reflecting um but yeah those are just my thoughts of just the realities of getting into tech and hopefully that is helpful in some way and or so I don't know tomorrow I have to get ready to go to bed because tomorrow I am going up to New York for the weekend and I'm gonna hang out with my grandparents and I'm not going to think about work hopefully i'm gonna try very hard to think about work or anything and just enjoy my time with my grandparents so i will see you next time bye